everybody, this is Chris, and in this tutorial we're going to get started working with just basic raw queries for the database. So in this tutorial I'm going to be using the northwind.sql file, which is just a, the Northwind database that I'm sure all of, uh, all of you have used. This is in my, my SQL. I originally used it with MS SQL when I was working with C Sharp and uh, visualbasic.net so go ahead and it's at the uh, WaveMaker community you can just you know Google Northwind MySQL and this will be the first result you just click on this and uh, install it into your uh, database file here I have it I'm just gonna assume everybody knows how to do this uh, because I mean if you've been do any kind of web development for more than like two or three days then you should know how to uh, upload a database file so let's get started the basic selector like if we're going to use a database and these are like really called raw queries when you're working with Laravel so there's three different ways you can interact with a database in Laravel what the first one is um, raw queries, that's the most basic, that's what we're going to do today and it's not going to take very long. Uh, the second is the Fluent Query Builder that is now just called Query Builder, quote unquote. Um, you, you, it was Fluent in Level 3, now it's just Query Builder. And then there's Eloquent, which uses models. We don't use really use models uh, with this. Uh, raw queries or Fluent models really come into play when you start using Eloquent. So, I'm going to say that real quick and we need to go into the database.php file and put the name of the database that you created here in the database and the root and password, username and password for your setup. Mine is just the basic setup so it's root and nothing. And let's go back into our routes. So, to use a raw query, we're just going to say db select. So, you have db select and I spelt it wrong as usual. So we select and we can select star from and we'll just grab the employees table select star from employees and if we return it we return user so we we'll say user and what it's going to spit out is a bunch of uh, JSON so this is all JSON and you really can't read it so we, the other alternative we have is we could use dd and we could also you know the dd command which is as everybody knows die and dump but a lot of people use var dump also and they basically do the same thing so if you hit dd it's going to throw you out the array and it's better organized easier read var dump if you you want to use var dump it's the same thing so just to show it your var dump and you go back in and you refresh it and it's the same so so what else will we do with this we can also do where clauses so select star from employees where let's say country equals that's because it's just still in there so right equals and we're going to throw an array we're just going to use one parameter though um let's say united kingdom so return any all the employees whose country who reside in the united kingdom so throw back i don't refresh it and you see now we only have four results and those are the four employees that reside in the United Kingdom and it's verified by the country 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 and country so this is really basic uh, not to get too much more into it um, you can also do DB update DB destroy and DB insert and to do your insert and all your CRUD operations, but we're not going to really get into that until we get into using Eloquent and models, because that's what most people will be using. But just as an example, 
Um, if I want to say, what do I want to say here? Let's just get rid of this. We just hold on here and we'll get rid of this. So say db insert insert into we have to have a table first we're just gonna call it a table not the table but the field table same difference let's go ahead and correct that real quick so localhost we'll create a new table we'll call it test we have three columns let's we'll call it id f name and last name Bar car, bar car, two fifty five. Make this auto recommend. Save it. Go back into our app here, and we'll say these insert into test. Uh, F name, last name. Take this back out of here. We'll just build a form real quick, a quick form. So, say values. It's going to be. We'll just use these values here. And then an array. And if we just put my name in here, um, it'll actually work. I'll show you what. So if you do this, go out and refresh this. Of course we're going to get an error. Because I don't have two trailing. I always I don't know why I always do this. You have to have the two uh of course you have to have two parentheses there. And we go back to here, refresh, go into our database, look at test, and there's my name. So how would we build a form doing this? Well, we are going to do that right now. We'll just have an index and we'll say at extends. We're going to use everything we created in our previous tutorial. So at layouts dot master at section content. at stop we're just going to create just a really basic form here so form this is where it's changed instead of we used to be able to just do this in level 3.2 now we can't do that anymore we have to explicitly assign it so an array is to URL and that URL is going to be the index so form that's pretty much that. And then everything else is pretty much the same. So form, label, and label for uh, F name. And the value is going to be first name. I've got this targeted using Bootstrap also. So when we run this, it's going to look, it should look a little prettier than just stock. And first value is going to be, you know, the name, then blank for a value, and I'm not going to use a class. Nah. Let's just use a placeholder. So, placeholder. First name. We will get rid of this label too. I don't want to be more. I don't want this to be longer than it has to be. Uh, they use nothing. And we'll also use the same array. So array placeholder. 
last name. Let's go ahead and capitalize this. And next we need to dish the submit button, so form submit. And our curly braces first for our templating blade. Form. And I hit add. So form submit. We're going to give it a value of uh, add name. And if you want to pass in a class, you just say just the same before. So let's just say class. And use bootstrap. We're just going to use button success. And then we just close the form. So that's pretty bit basically how we would build the form out. And let's just go ahead and look. And we don't have a view because we didn't tell it to do one. So we go back into our route now and just um, we need to get it first. So this is actually going to go into here. We post it and we're going to post it back into back to our default route because we can get and post from the same route. And whatever, we're just going to say I want to have that in here. So route post. And we're going to paste it in here. And we'll work on this in a second. We're just going to return the view right now. So return vmake on the index. So we can see our form real quick. Like this here. And if we go out here, take a look. A fatal error here. What is this? Something in our form. Let's say where. Probably not. It's because we didn't say open. So form open. Refresh and here's our form. And I know it looks kind of ugly, but you know, oh well. So we'll just now I'll just add the logic to it. So, and this is pretty much standard. This is the same as it is in level three. So, input all, and then we're just going to say. I'm just going to cut that. Let's say mm, we're not going to do any validation or anything like that. So let's say db insert. And instead of having this, we're going to say we're just going to grab those values out of there. So input f name and Don't need that in there. Input no name. So normally we want to do validation, but we're not going to worry about that right now. Looks like I have one too many. Let's look and see. So refresh this, and I'll have the equal sign. Fresh. There you go. If I type in the name of name now, let's go ahead and just add a name and see. Let's see if that went into our database. If we refresh it, test, and it's done. Done it four times. So let's delete all these. And go back in. 
I don't want to save it again. So just go back in. Shape your add the name. Go into browse, and there we go. So it's not working. Now this is just basic. You wouldn't want to do it this way because you'd want to add some rules and some validation. But for the purpose of this tutorial, uh, that's how you actually create a form. In the next tutorial, we're going to get busy using what was quote unquote fluent, which is now the query builder. So I hope this helped you. If it uh, if you want to stay tuned to my future videos, just go ahead, subscribe, like, share it, uh, and I'll be on momentarily with the query builder.